Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday! It's Friday so it's weigh-in day. We're going to chat about my week, we're going to go over the WW Workshop topic and of course I'm going to be sharing with you my weigh-in for the week. So if you're excited, give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I do upload five days a week and Friday is always weigh-in day. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you feel like you want to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and come on over, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you join that community as well. So let's go ahead and jump into my week, the workshop topic and my weigh-in. Happy Friday, friends. I hope that you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a pretty good week. We had a fantastic time out of town this last weekend with our friends. And then when I came back, I was feeling a little bit under the weather, just extra tired and fatigued. And then of course my cycle started, which kind of put it all into perspective. That makes a lot more sense why I was so tired and fatigued the couple days leading up to that. And then it's just kind of been a meh rest of the week and how I'm feeling between my cycle and just still not feeling 100% like myself. I also started my thyroid medication on January 10th, so I'm getting used to that as well. And I'm sure that that plays a part in my hormones and just how my body is feeling overall. So this week has been a little bit more slow going. I decided to go ahead and take the week off from working out, mainly because we were out of town over the weekend anyways. And as you know, or may not know, I always work out on my husband's days off, which is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday and we were gone Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I think that taking the week off of working out was good for me just because my body seems to need a little bit of time to just kind of recover and relax. I'm so go, go, go all the time that I think it may have caught up with me. My food for the week has been fantastic. No complaints there. I'm really enjoying the new way that I'm eating. I've been getting in my water. So everything on that front has been really good. I'm just hoping that as I move into my cycle more that my energy will come back so that I can can really have a more productive week this next week. But before we jump into my weigh-in, I want to talk with you guys a little bit about this week's WW workshop topic, and that is how to have an activity routine that actually sticks. Now we all want to work out, but putting that want into action can be really difficult. So WW is sharing some steps with us on how to establish a routine that you'll actually stick with long term. Step number one is decide what activity are you interested in doing, or what activity do you think that you can stick with? Think about what activities do you enjoy or maybe what activities that you've enjoyed in the past that maybe you could bring back into your life. When and where are you going to do these activities? When are you going to be able to schedule these into your very busy life? Realistically, how often are you going to do these activities? Do you only have 10, 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes a couple times a week to get an activity? Be realistic and remember, if you only have five or 10 minutes, short bursts count too. Number two is spot potential hurdles. What obstacles do you think could potentially get in the way and how are you going to navigate that? We're all really busy, so some of those obstacles may revolve around your work schedule, your kids, ske your kids schedule, or maybe your homemaking schedule as well. If time is an issue, you have to pencil activity into your schedule. Pick a day, pick a time where you can squeeze in as little as five minutes to an hour of intentional movement every week. And also try exercising when you're your most energized self. Now I am very, very much a morning person. I get a much better workout in the morning. That's why you'll find that I go to jazzercise at 8 a.m. When I go to classes in the evening, I'm just not getting in as good of a workout. If you are the opposite of me and you are not a morning person, maybe scheduling your workouts in the evening would be beneficial for you. And number three is practice. Try your routine for a week, see how it goes. Track your activity in your WW app, in whatever calorie counting app you're using, or maybe just write it in your planner. Were you able to finish the activity? Were you consistently doing it? And how did it make you feel? And then look back and reflect and change it up if necessary. Necessary. If you need to adjust your plan or maybe the days or times or even the activity by doing it for a solid week, you'll have a pretty good indication of whether or not that it's going to work for you. It's no surprise that being active takes a lot of time 
effort and motivation. It's really good to start small. Start with baby steps. If you're someone that doesn't exercise at all, how about just doing it one day a week for 30 minutes? And eventually, not only will you build up your endurance, but you'll build up your excitement and kind of that drive to get in more activity. You're definitely more likely to stick with your activity if it's something that you enjoy and if it's something that you pencil into your schedule. Now we pencil in doctor's appointments and kids soccer games and appointments to get our hair, our nails done, schedule in your activity. That way you'll be more committed to doing it. And here's a little bit of food for thought for you. Did you know that people who sit less and move more have a better overall weight loss success and more importantly are much more successful maintaining that weight loss. So get up, move your body, schedule it in, find something that works for you and be consistent. So now let's jump into this week's weigh-in. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, I started my thyroid medication on January 10th. Now I haven't noticed a huge difference in my fatigue or my energy. Like I mentioned, I've been pretty tired this week, which is very common for me the week leading up to and during my cycle. So I haven't noticed a lot of differences with the thyroid medication, but I still continue to be full and satisfied and really just loving the foods that I'm eating. So that is a huge, huge win for me. Speaking of huge wins, when I stepped on the scale this week, even though I was a couple days into my cycle, I am still down an additional 1.2 pounds. That means that I have lost well over a pound for the last five or six weeks, I believe, which is absolutely amazing. I should be seeing my weight loss kicking up a notch once my thyroid medication gets into my system. The doctor said that can take, you know, two to three weeks to really get that dosage into my system. And hopefully again, the fatigue and tiredness goes away a little bit more every single day, but I'm thrilled, thrilled, thrilled with another loss of 1.2 pounds. Now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. What do you think of this workshop topic? about scheduling and, and making activity something that's realistic and consistent for you. And if you're someone who avidly exercises, let us know down in the comments what you do. That'll give the community some ideas of some different exercises that they can try to implement into their lifestyle, see if they like them, and maybe that will become their go-to exercise as well. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe if you're not. I'd love to have you here. And don't forget I do a weigh-in video every single day. Friday. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget to join us on Facebook if you haven't already. It's a great community and we'd love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul.